Hey everyone, Logan CGN here to help you go from craftsman to businessman. What I want to do on this video is I want to walk you through essentially how to end up doing your dream project for clients over and over and over. And what it all comes down to is your ability to essentially understand where you want to get people to as the end goal and then how to creep your way up there. All right. So I've laid it out here of how this is going to work in the landscaping slash outdoor living space space okay every contractor for the most part especially if you're a gc painting landscaping decks water features anything that's in like the pleasurable sales side of things you have a high-end project that you'd probably love to do right you probably don't want to go out and just repair one person's drywall over and over and over you probably have the high-end one but it's hard to come out of the gate and sell a big project right out of the gate to somebody who's new that doesn't really know you that well. Can it be done 100%? Does it happen? Yes. But the amount of people that are looking to have their entire backyard renovated is a lot lower than the amount of people that simply need to get their patio repaired and they're good with paying higher prices. So we could take the lower foot in the door and work its way over time into the outdoor living space. We want to get to this end goal of the outdoor living space because that's where the money really is. Right now we're talking about a six figure project, but it's much harder to sell an outdoor living space, which is a hundred, 200, $300,000. So we have it all listed out of what's an easier way to sell it. And it all comes down to two things. And it's kind of this relationship between how expensive is it? And what is the consequence to the homeowner if they do not move forward? The consequence of not getting a six figure project is not that high and it costs a lot of money. So a lot of people, we need to work our way from the products that they really need right now that will actually build into the products that we, that they want. And I used to watch my dad do this because his whole goal, and he was a pond and water feature guy was to be able to sell a 30, $40,000 pond renovation job. Right? Well, somebody who called him up would say, hey, I need to get my pond renovated or I need to get something done on it. They weren't ready to hear 30 or 40,000. So what he would do is he would actually go out, drain it, clean it, fix it up a little bit for a couple grand. And then each year he would go back out and just drain it, clean it, fix it up a little bit. And by year three or four, they would go, you know what? I'm ready for that $40,000 renovation. But if he came out of the gates hot saying, hey, you want this fixed? $40,000, they're going to say no. Hey, if this has been helpful for you, which if you took notes on this, what you should be doing, this will change the game for you because I work with contractors all the time on this stuff. Do me a favor, go ahead, comment on this, just what you got from it. One quick sentence, high tide rises all ships in the contracting space. Let's help everybody out. So here's how it all breaks down. All right. So essentially this dotted line here is anything below it, it's a little bit easier of a sell because not only is it lower price point, but it's also going to be higher consequences of not moving forward. The reason that we have these services, which is the retaining walls, the patio repair, drainage solutions, softscapes, is a lot of these will naturally build into that outdoor backyard renovation living space, right? Somebody who calls you out to repair one sprinkler head, it's going to be a very hard time to get them from a $300 fix on a sprinkler head all the way up to a $100,000 pond or backyard feature. Okay. But somebody who's calling you up to repair their patio, well, let's think about why they're repairing their patio. They're doing it because their patio looks like crap right now. And they probably want to go out there and have family dinners and entertain and things like that. And that's the same emotion, family dinners, entertainment as an outdoor living space. They're just in the patio example, they're only really able to do it on a small scale, maybe five, 10 people on the patio An outdoor living space. Not only are they going to blow their friends and family away, but they get to entertain way more people. So it's the same emotion. It just now comes down to one is a little bit more conservative and one's a little bit more aggressive, whether they have the money right now or they need to save up for it. That's fine. But in reality, if somebody's getting a patio repaired or put in at their house, they really want deep down. If money was no object, that outdoor living space. I can almost guarantee you that. And I will say the one caveat to all this is the better you are at selling and branding yourself, 
the easier it's gonna be to work people up to that. If you're not good at selling, if you don't brand yourself and do all these things, it's very hard because you're simply gonna be the patio repair guy over and over and over. All right, if you wanna learn more about the sales stuff, I'm gonna put a video here that's essentially a video version of a podcast that we put out all the time. If you like that video, first off, obviously watch it. Then if you like it, check out our podcast because that is the way to, as you're driving to and from the job site, to get all the golden nuggets. See you in the next one.